Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Art Cabin in County Cavan, Ireland. And my name is Margaret McKenna. So today we're going to paint a unicorn. And this came as a suggestion from some of you actually, a few of you wanted to do a unicorn. So when I thought about it, um, I thought that's actually quite a good idea because not only is it a very popular magical creature, but also it's a great way of learning how to draw a horse as well. So, so let's go for it. Now, before we start, I want to ask you to send in all lots of other suggestions. I have a little tray here of suggestions here that you've already given me and all are extremely welcome. So the more the merrier. And at the end of the class, like the last time, I'll pick out one of your suggestions because everything I do here comes from you. It's all your ideas. So at the end of the class, I'll pick out another one. So there we go. So without more ado, let's get on with it. So for today's class, what am I using? Well, I'm going to use two sheets of paper. Okay, two sheets of paper to start with. I'm going to use a pencil, a rubber, and I'm also going to use paints. Now you can use, um, you can use more, you can use other than paints, you can use crayons, um, pencil crayons, but actually paints will be quite good for this because what I'm going to do with the sky after. But um, we can work out, we can work it out with crayons as well. These are poster paints. You can use acrylics, but acrylics, you have to make sure that you always wear old clothes because they don't come off your clothes so easy. So poster paints are quite good. Um, and they come in big tubs, so there's quite a lot in them and they're not too expensive either, which is good. Now, okay, so we have two sheets of paper. And the reason I've got two sheets of paper is because I'm going to draw the unicorn separately and I'm going to cut it out. Because the reason is we're going to work on our background first. So we're going to start, this is our background page. So whatever page you have for your background, this is the one. Now, pencil. Remember, I think I told you before, when you do use your pencil, you don't hold it really tight, like you're doing if you're drawing or writing you hold it nice and light. Okay, so hold it nice and light in your hands like that. And when you do that, it means that you get a nice light line because a lot of these lines that we use, we won't actually be use, keeping them there. We'll be rubbing them out later on because they're guidelines, okay? So make it nice and light. Now, I'm going to draw heavy because I have to so you can see it properly. So I'm gonna move that camera down a little bit so you can actually see the page better. There we go. Now, so to start with, I'm going to draw a line across, just a little bit up. And, now we're under about a third of the way up the page or so. And we're going to draw a line like that. It's going to be just a rough line. And this is our this is our uh, grass line here. See? Across here. I'm also going to draw a, a section of the moon here like that. Like a chunk out of a circle. Like that. So this is going to be the moon. And we can leave this white. We don't have to paint this in at all, so we don't. So that's, we can be, I did paint it up there, but we don't have to do that. Now, so we're going to start painting straight away we're going to start to paint our um our sky so what do we use for our sky we use our blue blue paint and we're going to use black paint and the reason i'm going to use blue and black is because i don't want to make it too black if you look up at the night sky it's not really black there's a bit of blue in it still so if we mix the two of them together we get a nice really dark dark blue nearly black almost black now we're going to do this twice so i want you to paint it well, especially if you're using watercolor, if you're using acrylics, you may not have to because it's quite strong acrylic paint, but we're going to do it twice. So we're going to let it dry and we're going to come back to it. So we're going to just paint the sky here like this. So just keep mixing the paints together. You can see it's quite a dark and I can add more black into it. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same color. Don't panic if it's not exactly the same color the whole way through. And just go around them and it come right down to this to this line here and you don't have to be too fussy either about the direction of the stroke really maybe do backwards and forwards crisscross is a good idea because it gives it an overall um color and you'll see some parts are going to be quite light don't make it too watery and if it goes too thick you can just walk like now there you see that it's very dark i can bring a bit of blue you can mix on the page which is really good you can put the black and then put the blue on top of it the blue on top of the black etc now make sure that's straight that line is not very straight is it? Go down there. Now, okay, so we're going to have to go over this twice because at the moment you'll see a lot of streaks on the page and that's okay. We need to come back over it because he doesn't see as much on that one because it's given it to come in a coverage better cover. Now, so remember boys and girls, think of what you would like to paint in other classes because I'll be say putting this into the bag or into the hat later on. So 
I think it'd be great if you could actually, if you could actually do, um, you could have lots of ones that you'd like to see done because that's what I want to do. It's all your suggestions here. So we're just going to keep this going. Lots of color on this. Now this might take a while. Remember, the other thing, remember, you can always look back at these videos. So just because you missed a bit here doesn't mean that you've missed it. You can just check back later on, which is makes it, you can just let, this is, this is quite straightforward. So it's just doing it twice, but we're going to let this dry for a little while. So there we go. That's our first coat on the, on the background. Okay. Now you can see, you can see it's quite streaky at the moment, but that doesn't matter because we're going to give it another coat. So next step, we're going to do some of the grass. Now the grass remember is green, but because it's nighttime, if you look at the grass at nighttime, you'll often see it's a sort of a bluey shade to it. So we're going to add a bit of blue into our green like that. There's our green and there's our blue. Like that. Okay. Green and blue together, okay? And we're gonna just tip it along like that. And if you have any questions along the way, please let me know because I'd love to um I'd love to see any questions. Um sometimes I don't see them straight away on this, sometimes the way the internet is, I don't always see them. Sometimes I do. So we're going to bring I will always see them later on though, so don't worry about that. I can answer answer any questions later on. So we're going to do little strokes. Now watch, the reason I put little strokes is because remember it's grass. And if you think about grass, it's up like little, it goes up and down like that. So even the day, don't go across like that, paint up and down little bits. And, or if you can, what you can do is you can do it straight across like that first. And if you come back with more little ones on top throughout it, if you want. And I'm not even minding if I do, I'm just literally dipping, dip the two of them together sometimes. These little tricks you learn, even when they're young, you don't always have to mix it up really good on the plate, on the on your little thing tray. You can mix one to two, and you have the two colors on your brush at the same time. And that's quite nice. You get a nice effect with that. See, get the two colors together. And a lot of artists use that way of doing it. And if it goes too blue, look, I put a lot of blue, just go back with a bit of green on top of it. So that's the great thing about it. Don't ever panic when you're doing it. Always remember it's fun and you should enjoy it. And there we go. And just lots of little, little strokes like that. Lots of little strokes, lots of little strokes. And even if it's bluey in places, don't worry about that. Because that'll actually give it a nice look of different shades going through it. Rather than having it all the one colour exactly. It's quite nice to have different shades. So I'm just going to bring in this little bit here. And we'll soon now be on to drawing our unicorn. Just fill this bit in. We'll come back to that now in a few minutes. But we're going to go to do our unicorn next. Now, so there is the grass. And as I say, if you have, if you want to, you can always play this back later on and catch up on it. But there, I'll just give you a minute. So as you can see, oh, I'll get the paint on my hand. So you can actually get, this is going to be another layer of paint. This will be fine. You don't need any more paint on that. And you can leave this white or you can paint it in, but um, I'm going to leave it white in this one. I did paint it there, but we don't need it painted. So now when we leave this to dry for a little while, just, just let it dry so we can get another coat on it. And it dries very fast, the poster paint, which is brilliant. Um, other paints are quite, are much, um, take a lot longer to, to, um, to dry, but this one to, will take a very short time. So we're going to get our other page now. We're going to start to draw our unicorn. And this is what we're doing. So the unicorn is, as I say, it's like a horse. It is a horse. And what's great is that you'll be able to, hello, Kutch. Um, you'll be able to actually use this for drawing any kind of horse. So we get a pencil. Now I'm going to say once more about this is when you're drawing with a pencil, don't hold it too tight, hold it nice and light in your hand. In fact, it's a good idea. And we did this last time is to just shake your hand with the pencil in your hand. And I've done this with adult, big people, with adults as well, because often even, even grown ups find it hard sometimes to get to not be, to be not relaxed at all. Now, Hello, Coach. I hope you're doing well. Maybe join in. Um, okay, so I'm going to let that down nice and loose. Now, get your hand. Nice, hold the pencil quite far back and do a nice light line. Don't go too heavy because we're going to have to rub out some of these lines. However, I'm going to go heavy. And the reason I'm going heavy is because I have to, so you'll be able to see it on the page. Okay, so I'll remind you every now and again not to go heavy anyhow. So we're going to start... This is the middle of the page. I'm going to go a little bit to one side, to the left-hand side, to this side of the page. The reason is because if we go over here too much, we won't have room for his body. 
So we just go a little bit to the left. So I'm going to do a circle about that size. Okay, now there we go. About that size of a circle. Now I'm making it very heavy, you make it light, okay. And then we're going to make another little circle, a smaller one, just about, about there, like that. Got that there? Now we're going to come down a little bit. Don't come down, come down about the, about just a bit bigger than that circle is. Come down a bit further. And we're going to make a bigger circle here. Not too big. And again, it just doesn't have to be too exact at that size there. Okay, now so we've come down straight down under, underneath it. And now we're going to come a little bit to the side. So it's going to come a little bit over this way. Don't make it too much that way. And don't make it straight underneath it or the, the horse will be too straight up. So make a little bit over here. And we're going to make a bigger circle again. And don't make too big a gap here. See the gap I have here? Don't make it too big. And we get a little bit bigger here, like that. So now we have three, three, three four circles. And that really is actually the, the beginning of our horse or our, our unicorn. Because what we do now is we connect these. So how do we connect them? Well, we put a little line, actually we'll do this one here. We do a little line from the back of this head, and I'll just show it before you start, down to the, and we can put a little tiny bend on it like that, you see? Okay, right? And then we're gonna put another one from underneath his, his head, like that. and there's a little bend again like that. Okay, like that, see? And we're going to come back from this circle. We're going to come back out a little. Now watch the little bend out to his back like that. See there. So we're joining up. The, we're joining up the circles. Put a little bend, a little bend, a little bend. And now we're going to join the top one as well. We're going to put this one to the bottom of that one, and this one like that. Now, do you see it's starting to turn into a horse? You see? And we're going to put another one there, and we're going to bring that, but we're going to bend this, something like this one, round. Don't make it too, don't make it too roundy, just a very little dip, and it'll come up to there like that. So now we have it like that. See? See how we're getting there now? Now, here we have the leg. So how do we do the leg? So we're going to start with a big fat part of the top of the leg. And we're going to make it like a V shape. So we're going to bring down a V from the bottom of that. I'm going to just bring it down into, we'll just make it down to a point for now. We can change, we can fix it a little bit later on and make it sort of look, smooth out the edges. So we'll do this first, okay? And we're going to put a little roundy little thing just there. Let's do a little roundy bit there. Again, remember, keep your, keep your um, pencil lines nice and light. Very important. Keep them light. We're doing them light. I have to do them heavy so you can see it, but you do them nice and light. And that's where you hold your pencil nice and light because we will actually rub out some of these lines. Now, we're going to do another little V here. Like that. Just about halfway up his leg. Oop. See? Just like that. And we put a little roundy thing at the bottom there. Not too much. Okay. Now we're going to put another roundy one down here. So we might look and do a line all the way down to there, like that. And then we just join these like that and like that. Okay. And we're going to put another one here, but this roundy one here won't be as low down as here because this leg is in the background. So because it's in the background, it won't be down at the same as down as far as this leg. Okay, so we're going to bring this, this side and that side, just the same as the other one. Now, see there? And keep your pencil nice and light. Remember that all the time. That's very important to keep your pencil light. And we're going to bring out our another little roundy one out here. And this is going to be his, 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 his leg, his part of his leg, his knee. Is it his knee? His wrist of the heart. Now we're going to bring a line from there and a line up like that. 
see there so we're starting to build them out there bit by bit you see there and then we're going to bring another one another little rounding one like that and i say if you have any questions if i don't see them now i'll see them later on okay so don't worry i'll get you and another little line here and another little line like that now we've got the front leg done and we can make this we can square we're going to make these a little change them a little bit afterwards now we're just going to put another line the last this i mean there's a lot of lines in this but just do take your time and suit slowly and watch if you use the circles it's a really good way because you can see the size of the circles and you can join them up together afterwards and remember you can come back and watch do this afterwards look at this anytime so we're going to just bring a line out here like that out to there on the far line and one will come right down into there and that will be his far leg there you see up there and there now we're going to add his ears so we have an ear here and we have an ear over here like that okay and we're going to make a big unicorn horn in the middle there like that see now we have to put a tail on so we're going to put a tail like that if you make a tail nice so it's a twirl so it's a twirl like that and it's like that and as i say remember you can come back so we've joined all the circles there's a circle here and a circle here and we've joined them together we've joined this big circle up to the head and then we joined this bigger circle down to, to up to here like that and a little little roundy bit here and then we've got this v-shape i'm just going back over it for you all to see and we can actually make this leg let me see, i'll just show you now you can bring this out like this now to make this join this proper now so we have a circle and our v-shape but then we can bring them out like that so you get this around here we've got the foot here and the foot and we bring them out now we can flatten the feet now you see now that we've got the circles in we can flatten them and bring them down into pointy bits at the edges you see like that see so you just point them like that and that's why you do your lines really nice and light because when you do your lines light you'll go out and take out those other lines you don't need because they're just guidelines and the same with this we can flatten this one and bring in two little points like that so we have our hooves now we have to put in his nose and his eyes yet oh we have to put in his mane he's not no hair so we put a nice big big piece of hair like that look now so you can take your time and have a look there for a minute and catch up and remember you don't have to catch up you can always come back and do it later on because we can come back and look at the video later you see that's the best thing about it so you don't have to do it all now and remember children if there's any suggestions you'd like to do i've got a whole little box of them there at the moment and we can do lots more later on um any ones that we, anything you want because all the suggestions i'm doing today or anything i've done today so far has been all your suggestions so okay we're going to take these lines out that's why you need to draw really light because we don't need a lot of these lines they're just a guideline so watch now when i take them out you see how it turns into a horse or a unicorn so we're going to take all these lines out in the middle otherwise i say mine is going to be harder to do because i had to make this really heavy for you to see it but and we'll take out this line You'll be able to take it out better than me now, remember, because you've got it nice and light lines. You're not, always use your pencil really light, even though I have to do it dark. So light lines for your pencils, and it makes all the difference. So we're going to take all the lines we don't need in the middle of the face, and we can take all this line out. You can leave a little line at the bottom there. Take this line out. I so say you'll still see a little bit of mine, but just because mine is too dark because i have to and then we're going to take all these lines inside the knees out like that so we don't need any of these lines now so those are the lines the guidelines but they're a great way to make it easy for you to, to to draw because you're joining all the circles instead of trying to draw around the animal which can be very hard much easier to draw it like this and do it in circles and bring it together okay so there we go
as I say, come back afterwards and um, look at this if you can't, if you've missed any bits. Now, now before we go and paint our paint our horse, we're going to just leave him aside for a minute because what we're going to do now, our unicorn, we leave it there to the side. We're going to come back and give our sky a second coat. Now, for any of you that just joined me, what we did earlier on was we um, we had two sheets, as I explained at the beginning, and we painted we painted this part here with a blue and a black mixed together. And we gave it one coat. I'm just going to give it another coat. Actually, it's not too bad now. You probably wouldn't even, you mightn't even need another coat, but I'm going to give it another coat, quick, very quick coat. And I used a blue and a green here in the grass and I did little strokes on it, just little strokes. I'm leaving this bit white for the moon. So we're just going to come back in a little bit and do some of the blue and the black again, just to give it another coat before we get back to painting our unicorn. And we're just going to give it a quick coat over here because I want to show you what, how to do the stars, that's why. And I want to make a nice dark background. And the reason I'm using the blue and the black together is because the sky is not a really black, black color. It's a kind of a bluey black. And if you give it an extra coat, um, don't have the brush too wet and don't have it too dry. So a little bit of water. And, and you can give it a crisscross. Don't be too fussy about the way you do this in, in terms of the direction. Just either up and down. Sometimes a little crisscross stroke is good. So you get more blue into it. I'm going to make it too black. And then I'm going to make it like that. And we'll come back and do that. I'm just going to give it a quick coat. As I say, you can take your time and you can come back and watch these videos afterwards. And I know some of you might be, I know you can't go too far at the moment, but if you're out in the garden, because it's, if you're around here, it's a lovely day. So if you're out in the garden um, playing, because it is a very beautiful sunny day. But you can come back later on and you, when, it, when it gets a little darker and you can do some of these drawings. Now, I'm going to mix that. So it's just the blue and the black together, like that. Now, we're going to flick that in and out like that. And there we go. And I say, please let me know if you have anything you want me to draw. Please suggest, give me suggestions because I am, that's what I want. That's, they're all your suggestions I'm doing at the moment. Now, so there we have that dark. And we're going to just put that aside for a minute. I'm going to come back to my unicorn. Now, if you see the unicorn that it, the, in the picture, the light, the moon is over here in the sky. Do you remember we did our bunny and the sun was up there? This time we have the moon. So we're going to have the moonlight here and we're going to do the shadow goes on the far side. So if we have the moon up here, the shadow is going to be on this side. So what color am I going to use for the shadow? Well, I could use a gray color, but it's a, it's a magical unicorn. So I'm not going to use a dark, too dark a color. I'm going to use a little smaller brush this time. And I'm going to use a little bit of a purple shade. So I'm going to get some blue like that. And I'm going to make a bit of red like that, a bit of red into that. Now you can put a bit of white with it if you want to make it a bit lighter. Oop, there's a bit of red going a bit sticky on me. And I'm going to put a little bit of white with it. So we make a nice light. What happens is you make a nice light. And I can, I can try it out here because I'm going to cut this out so I can use this the rest of this page to actually try my color on which is handy so there we go we've got our color a nice purpley shade so where is the light the light's coming up here so remember like that so we're going to go shadow underneath his can i make that a bit lighter actually and don't put too much color on the brush make don't put too much so you can just do that at the edge and just put a little color and we can just little small yeah if you use not too much color on it but put a little bit of color under is Face like that. What we have to do is, and we're going to put like that. I'm going to put. We're drawing his 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 features in a minute with our pencil. I'm going to put a shadow like underneath his arm, like under his arm, underneath his neck, like that. Little inside his ears, like that. And we can put a little bit on his horn up there, like that. See, like that. And then we're going to come down the side here, down his neck down his back see like that because remember this moon is up there so it's going to be moonlight and all around his bum and down his leg 
and see how dry I have. I don't have very much on the on the brush at all. So there's not too much paint. Don't use too much paint on the brush, okay? So we're just going to come down like that. Where's my color? Here it is. We're going to come down the side of his leg like that, just down the left hand or the right hand side, and we can color in all his foot actually. You know, if you want, you can put all this because it's going to be dark like that. I didn't know the other one, but if you can do that. And we put this leg here is in the background. This is the back leg. So we put shadow under there, all down that side like that. So we keep a little bit of light on his, on, his, on the left-hand side because the, sun, the moonlight will be on his leg. And we're going to put a bit on his belly, just under his belly, because this was going to make a shadow. Oh, I meant to put out another look. I, missed, I left a line in there. I shouldn't. Look at that. Look, there was a line there. That has to come out. I forgot that line. So all those inside lines you can take out. You see, I make mistakes too. We all make mistakes, don't we? That's okay. We can do that. Now we're going to have a little line underneath there like that. And we can bring it just like that. See? You see how he's making he's making it look nice and rounded now? We're going to come down the side here and make his foot like that. Okay. We can put a little bit underneath. A little bit in here as well on his belly. But again, don't put too much color on. So I've used a blue and a red and a little bit of white. So we're making a light and don't take some of them off, take some of it off. And then we're going to put a little bit on. See this line here, this leg? That's his back leg. So above that line there, I'm going to show you this up close. That's that front leg here that we did. So the back leg is going to have a little bit in there like that, okay? Stick that down like that. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and put it in his, in his eyes. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to use my pencil again, and I'm going to put in a, an eye shape. Now when I do an eye shape, I'm, this is my page, I'm going to put this, this is my, this is the page, I'm, I'm going to be cutting this horse out. So I'm going to show you up close what I'm doing up here. But this is part of the page. So I'm going to do it an eye like, like that. So it's like a try, like a, you do like a triangle shape and put a, a little roundy piece inside. So I'm going to put that in here, okay? Now that, you can rub that out after, we'll be cutting it out. So a triangle there and a little rounded piece like that, see? And then we need to put his nose, so that's going to be a little shape like that. And we put a little smiley mouth like that. And we can, we can square his face a little bit, because we've got his face really round, so we can make it sharper there a little bit, like that. Now, I used a blue, um, I used a blue, a blue color, so I used a small little brush, and I put a little blue eye on him. But you know, you can put whatever color eyes you want. This is your unicorn. Like that. Now, his tail and his mane, I used different colors. I used yellow and I used, so you can really color. This is your unicorn, as I say. So you can use whatever color you want on his tail because it's a magical unicorn. They don't have the any kind of particular color, I think. What colors would you think you'd like to put on your unicorn? You could put red, you could put yellow, you could put rainbow colors, would be quite nice. I've seen rainbow uh, unicorns before. So in fact, I'm gonna just put a few different shades going through his tail. So maybe it's yellow like that. And the thing is, when you're doing it, make, you can bring it down like that. Look, if you bring the, whatever color you use, bring it with the shape of the tail. So if you bring it with the shape of the tail or the shape of the mane, I see like, like that. It'll give it that look like it's hair and flick it out. And I can put a bit of red into it. I can put all different shades. It doesn't really matter what colors you put in it. So we're going to just put lots of shades like that. You can decide what you want because really this is totally up to you. It's your unicorn. So you decide. I'm going to put a bit up here as well. And you see the way I'm flicking this out, look. And why? Because that makes it look like hair. See, like that. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to leave that for a minute because we're going to come back to our sky. And for the anybody who has joined us, we put, we put blue and black together. I gave this two coats and then because just to make it really black or really dark. And then I put the grass, which is a bit of blue and green. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, this is how we're going to do a star. So this is a good bit. So the stars are going to be, I'm going to use, 
a bristle, just a, see, a, just a children's paintbrush. But you know what's really good is a toothbrush. If you have a toothbrush, it's brilliant, an old toothbrush, not the one you're using, obviously. Wouldn't be very nice. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of water on it, and then I'm going to dry it like that. Just tap it dry, because I don't want it too wet. And I'm going to dip it in some white paint like that. Now you can try this on a piece of paper. You're going to get heavy side of this on your hand. So then we're going to do is we're going to flick. Now I'm going to show you this. Can you see the flicks coming up? You might be able to see it here. Uh, you can see it if you now. If you look at the now, if you look at that, what's happening now? I don't know whether you can see it well, but I'm getting a whole lot of little spots all over the black, and it just looks like stars. And the great thing about these poster paints is it it can comes off your hand. You can just wipe this off off your hands very easily. So all over the, this, you get lots of little flick, 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 flicks. You can try it on a piece of paper first because sometimes it's hard to um. Sometimes it's hard to get it right. Sometimes it gets too blobby. Don't make it too wet. If the paint is too wet, it'll just go into blobs. And if it's too dry, it won't come off your brush. So you have to get it in between. Okay. So there we go. Look. And now we have a sky. Lots of stars. You can make as many as you want. You can make, if you make a bit more paint on it, you can make big stars. So it'll look quite nice. Now, and I'm just going to get a piece of paper and I'm just going to wipe my finger. Like that. Now it's gone. So there is our sky and our and our and our and our grass. Now you might be able to see it too well here, the stars. Um, but yet if you you, you probably can see it better on the original one because it's dry. So now we're going to come back. The last few little bits are we're going to come back and we're going to we're going to actually cut out a unicorn. So you might need help with this. This is he's a bit harder. He's kind of hard to do. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to roughly cut him out so I don't have too much paper around it. So if you've got a big piece of paper, it's always better to cut, cut near to the tomb first. It's often much harder to do it um, when you're trying to do, work on a big piece of paper. So I'm going to just cut all around them first like that. So there we go. There's our, there he is roughly cut out. And now we can go in and cut him out properly. And this might take a bit of time, but this is really the last, nearly the last bit of it. So as I say, you can come back and look at this any time at all. So you might need a little bit of help if you can ask some bigger person there to help you cut this out. Just get all these little bits. Now, boys and girls, and are you painting a lot? I hope you're practicing your painting and your drawing because it's really good, especially when you've got a rainy day. And even, even just in the house, you've not a lot to do sometimes. So it's great to be able to, to, to use your um, the time to draw and read and write. You can write little stories. And you know what would be really good? I used to do when I was little. What I used to do is I used to draw, I used to make up little stories. And what I would do is I'd make little comic books. And I would draw my little people. and Or else I would make up stories. And I would write a story and I would make drawings to go with the stories. Um, and that's a really good idea. It's a great way of passing the day because you can your imagination is brilliant. You can really think of so many different things. It's so much better often than looking at a film, even because often your imagination it's like reading a book. Often a book is so much better than looking at the film because your imagination is so good. And what you do is you go and you go and make lots of stories up. You could use this unicorn in a story. You could have it as one of your drawings to go with a story. Um, you can do so much when you're when you're not having to do be in school you can do lots of other things which are really really good like using your imagination so now we're getting near the legs as i say it this part is probably the hardest part in one way because you have to cut it all out so even if you don't do it now just you can do it later on and you can but you can get we'll see what i'm going to do then and how it will look at the end I've got put some red on his body there. Look at that now. I didn't wait for it to dry. Anyway, doesn't matter. Now we're nearly there. Just one leg to cut out. Let's cut the space between these two here like that. And another bit like this. Oop. Yes, I, I cut my thumb yesterday and I have to I have to have a bit of plastic over it so I don't get any so I don't get dirt into it. So that's a bit awkward. So now there we go. Now we have a unicorn. 
So what do we do next? Well, of course, next what we do is we're just going to put some glue on it. So I'm using this type of glue here, which is this, um, you can use something like a print stick type of one or any glue, even the PVA glue, any, any kind of glue like that's for paper is great. And make sure you get into the top bits, and the bits around the horn and the ears because they come off the page very easily. And just go around the edges especially, right down into his feet. Let's get the feet there. Oh, there's glue coming out of, the hat, out of the lid. Not good. Now all down into his tail and all around his back. And there we have it. And now all we have to do is we just get our background like this. There's just one more little bit after this, so don't go away just yet. And we're going to stick him about here, maybe. What do you think? Um, make him about there, because I want to make sure his feet are flat on the ground. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, put more glue there, maybe. No, that's okay. Just going to give the stick down well. I'm going to have to make a bit of a mess there. That's not my name. Now, okay, so we're going to do is so we're going to put the last little bit is the shadow on the grass. And the reason I'm putting the shadow on the grass is because we want to make him look like he's really standing on the grass. So this is really simple. Let me take two seconds. And that is we're going to get a little bit of our bluey grass, a bluey green grass, like that. And we're going to make it a bit more bluey this time. And we're just going to make it darker. And we're just going to now make sure it's on the other this side. The lights over here so that the, the shadow will be on the right hand side. OK, so we're going to make it down over like that way. So don't put the shadow over here. You can put a little bit over down here because it's coming down this way. Now, and there we have it. I might put a little bit of white on his body because I managed to put a bit lump of. And we can manage to smudge that in there after. Now, so there we go. And that's our unicorn uh, done for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, oh yeah, one little last thing if you could do, and I nearly forgot this. There's always one little bit you can forget, and it's something we could do, actually we could do it before we put on the horse at all, but we can do it now even, is put a little very light white. Take your white, take it off the brush, like that, and just have hardly any on it, and just give a few little flickers like that. And it just makes it look, it's better to do this before the horse goes on, mind you, but just like that. And it just makes it look like it's light coming from the moon. See? Like moonlight. Like that halo you see around the moon okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it remember you can also look back at the video at any time to catch up on especially the the, the um, picture uh the drawing of the unicorn which is kind of complicated so it's not that easy but it's a great way of learning how to draw a horse as well so you can you'll use it in lots of other uh, types of drawings now what today of course the last thing we have to do is we're going to pick out what we're going to do next time now this is my tray of suggestions all your suggestions and i hope that maybe you could have some more suggestions for me to do um i don't think i see, see if i see any I, I don't see see them all at the same time unfortunately so i might be able to see them later on um so if you do give me suggestions i'll see them so don't worry and i'll put them in the next time so for now i'm going to just close my eyes and i'm just going to jiggle them around and i'm going to pick out them and here we have i have a clue what this is let's see the suggestion by some of you a rainy day with umbrellas oh that's interesting so you can put lots of colored umbrellas lots and lots of nice colors in it that would be a nice picture to do so we'd have a really nice colorful picture but because even though it's rain we'll have lots of lots, lots of lovely colors in it so we do that lots of little people with lots of umbrellas that sounds a fun one to do okay great so that's our suggestion for the next time and keep an eye out my facebook page i'm not sure whether it'll be tomorrow or the next day um so if you just keep an eye out and let and, and I'll, show, I'll tell you what day it is and uh, so and um, that's it so listen thanks so much for coming along and look at it anytime and bye for now and keep drawing and painting and look forward to oh yes karen art children's the children's art group page is on the karen art page if you want to join it and put up your work i'd love to see them i really really would and you can do whatever background you want here unicorn if you cut it out you can put lots of different backgrounds and have them anywhere in the sea and the desert in the field, it doesn't matter. Okay, so listen, bye for now and thanks very much. Bye-bye.